Hi everyone, it's Nat here, and I've been having some problems with my Apple Magic Mouse. It's a Bluetooth mouse. It keeps, it's been disconnecting and reconnecting continuously, and it is annoying me immensely. I have been digging around on the internet through a few forums, and I found an answer that seems to have fixed the problem, at least uh, for the last hour. So hopefully it's a permanent fix to the problem. So first of all, you need to make sure that your Bluetooth preferences, I normally have mine up on the top bar here. Um, it, this is the little icon right here, the Bluetooth preferences. Uh, you need to make sure that that's available in the bar first. It's not there by default. So I'm going to go to my system preferences. And then under the system preferences, I'm going to select the Bluetooth menu. Um, I'm on operating system Catalina, but I do believe this works for most of the, you know, recent, uh, probably the last three or four Mac operating systems. And um, so under this menu, we have to select show Bluetooth in menu bar. I always have a tick under there. And then when we normally click up on the Bluetooth icon right here, we get a menu um, that has a few options. And then if we hold down the shift and option buttons on our keyboard and then click it, we get an extra debug menu right here. Now I uh, selected the reset the Bluetooth module first, and that seemed to fix it for about 15 minutes. And then the mouse uh, continued to disconnect and reconnect again. So that, that didn't really fix it at all. Uh, then I did the factory reset all connected Apple devices. And uh, when I did this, I couldn't reconnect my mouse again. Um, the mouse was, it, it resets the name if you've changed the name of your mouse. So it's like, like taking it out of the box. So what I had to do was go and grab um, a wired mouse, fortunately I had one, um, and then connect that up to my Mac um, and then use that to then go through the Bluetooth preferences and, and set up my Bluetooth mouse and my Bluetooth keyboard again. So don't make the mistake of selecting that option if you do not have access to a wired mouse. Um, I'm not sure what the solution would be without one, maybe a reset of the computer. You like if you get stuck without a mouse and a keyboard, you might have to actually hold your finger down on the Mac, Apple, uh, the power until it switches off. And that's I never like doing that. I never like forcing the computer to shut down with a hard shutdown. Um, it just so you know, you can lose work that you have open and it can be destructive to the hard drive. Um, so, so far, so good. It's been about an hour and I haven't had a disconnect and reconnect. Um, if you've tried all these three options, remove all devices is probably, um, well, that is just what it is. It's like going through here and uh, remove. You can individually, um, just from the normal menu, uh, see how there's no factory reset there. So if you do the shift and the option and then click, you'll notice that those debug options are now actually in there for the individual ones as well. So I can do a factory reset on this one alone um, and this the keyboard or the mouse. So if none of these options work for you, if you try them all and you're still having a problem, you may have to go uh, to an Apple Mac store and uh, let them know if it's within warranty, it might need to be repaired. If you have an older mouse, it may just be time to buy a new one. So I hope this has helped you. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.